How's it going again, Arcade One Up fans? This is Brian, back again with another video showing off my Arcade One Up Tron cabinet cosmetic upgrades. Haven't done a video in a while. Um, I finally moved into my new house. I'm here back at my old house where it's a big old mess with my arcade sitting down here in the basement. I started up a smaller arcade here in the basement at the time. I got seven cabinets down here that I was working on. This basement's just a big old mess now. I never really got this arcade off the ground um, to get it going. But and I don't know when I'm going to get these over to the new house. But anyway, back to the video. Um, I love this cabinet. I was so hoping Arcade One Up would do this cabinet, and they did. And they did a great job on this cabinet. It's very arcade accurate. Great three-quarter scale. Even the riser has a... Uh, with the 15 inch riser it makes it a little taller now to start off with the cosmetic mods there's one you're not seeing right now i actually did buy a graphic that's going to cover up the tron and tron disc discatron i just don't like the wording on the front i bought a graphic from arcade graphics that looks something more that's basically this uh but enlarged just the circle itself so that it'll match the side panels uh it's a perfect match so it'll uh, run well from the sides going to the front. I think that'll be a good finish for this cabinet. As for the front design. Uh, panning up here, you're going to notice that I'm showcasing the original um, Bally Midway coin door. From a distance, it looks real. It is indeed, though, just a graphic. A great looking graphic. This is from Gulf Coast Decals. And I actually cut this graphic from his Miss Pac-Man full kick art plate that he made for Miss Pac-Man cabinet. I've done this now with the Miss Pac-Man cabinet. I've done it with the um, Galaga cabinet and my Burger Time cabinet. And I stuck this graphic on because it is the original arcade coin door. I mean, this thing looks very lifelike. It's a great print when you see it in person. Even got a little wear and tear on there, which I like. Uh, the buttons are illuminated, the 25 cent buttons, but you know, it gives it that same look. And I got placed just in the exact spot where it's supposed to be. And uh, cover, you know, instead of that blackness. And all these new RK1 cabinets are coming with the newer co coin doors that just don't match up with some of the older style arcade cabinets. Panning up. I know there's a replacement on. Retro 530 for this, but I, you know, it's a little washed out, but it's not terrible. I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, moving up here in the main play area, you're gonna see two graphics on each side of the monitor. These are just paper graphics I found from Etsy. It was a complete kit that actually came with a couple different graphics that you see here. There's an S-Panel graphic and some extra graphics here on the left and right. An extra graphic for if I ever replace the spinner with the GRS spinner, which hopefully I won't have to. But I know these spinners have been dying out. I haven't been able to play this cab too much in the past six months or so because of moving. But the uh, this original graphic is on the original cabinet, although they come out further. Um, nothing changed here on the control panel. We got to turn the light on here. And there we go. I like the purple. But let's move up to the marquee. Sorry, can't think straight right now. Uh, still the original marquee. You know, I come to realize I do want to replace this one day. I mean, it, it looks great. It's good size. It was missing the belly. Midway logo, and you're going to see it. There is something there. I tried to do something that doesn't work out. Um, but one day I'm going to think I'm going to get Sazzle Arcade clip-on ones and make this look much fresher. But it, you can't see it on camera that well. But there is a sticker there in the pink purpley color that says Ballet there. And Midway, you can't see it at all. Um, but I did put it in the same place and lined up the lines. I got Arcade... Uh, graphics marquee again same thing I did with um, my burger time cabinet which I'll show that later on but in his design 
I cut out the the Bally Midway logo with an X-Acto knife. And this is a translite graphic. But I was not thinking about that this marquee is mostly black, which is why we cannot see the Bally Midway. I wasn't thinking. You can kind of see the purple right there on the white line. That's the only part that shows through. I did the same thing for my Burger Time cabinet, which I'll show in another video. I cut out the Bally Midway logos, and those placed on perfect because it's a white background. But I tried, but when this cabinet's off, you can read this just fine. All right, moving on inside the cabinet here. I did buy... Now, I was the first person to buy this S-Panel. Um, I was actually going to do one my own. Again, I don't really have a lot of tools all the time. I didn't have no router. I didn't have no jigsaw. I still don't. I was borrowing them. But I was going to cut out this shape originally and figure out what I want to do and find a graphic. But I found a guy on Etsy back in December last year, of tw two years ago in 21. First person to order it. I got screwed over. It took forever. Everyone else was getting it in the mail. I'm seeing it and like weeks are going by. I'm like, what the hell? Why am I not getting this? I was, I, I was wanted to talk to the guy and I told him some things to improve on it, which he took my advice. I can't really see it that well, can you? Um, eventually I found a guy, I, the guy gave me hell too on Etsy because he thought that it was sent. So yeah, it was a lot back and forth. Wasn't the best customer service at the time, but I mean, it's a neat what he made. Although I didn't like the, the plexi that sounds very reflective. But got the graphic in there. I know people put it in the monitors that have graphics going, but I just like the original. I did replace this though. He gave this piece right here was the new one that came in that set I showed you earlier. This was the original one that came with it, and the graphics were all wrong on it. This is the correct version, which also came with the two pieces on the left and right. He is still selling these on Etsy. I'll share a link to his name and stuff and post. But there is a mod on here that I've actually started selling myself on Etsy that I wanted to showcase more here. I have put it out in the Facebook groups. Sold some on there. I've been selling them on Etsy. Still trying to get more out there. I'd like to get these out to a lot of people because the two inside panels were missing that reflective surface, the mirror. So I found a chrome mirror-like vinyl that's heat adhesive. And before I put this cabinet together, I uh, traced out the inside here with some tracing paper, made some hard ca uh, cardstock templates, and I made my own. I showed this off like this, just a year ago, like almost around this time, like April and May. And I finally put this cabinet together and I bought it in December of last year. And as you can see, the results came out great. You can see the reflection of the game. It gives it that blurry look, kind of obscured look of the screen itself on both sides. I placed them right in there perfectly. You can still see the graphics. Although I will say I didn't realize that down here I did cover part of my green. And unfortunately, I had to remake my template because some of the graphics I sent out to people complained about that the green line was covered up. Which was driving me crazy because I triple checked my design. I just was cutting them wrong. I hand cut them with with an exacto knife and scissors I trace it and I the scissors just wasn't properly cutting it and sometimes I overcut with the exacto knife I don't have a machine to cut these but I am hand making these still today just uh, mailed out three more and uh, you know this just really brings the cabinet together gives it more flair on the inside because it's just black there's no reflection that works out really well it gives off that nice effect you can really get in there if you are sitting down in the chair You'll see the re you have that S panel. You can see the reflection of the top here, in there, just like the original. So if anybody here watching this video doesn't have this, you know, look me up. You can always contact me here on YouTube, and if you're on the A One Up Facebook groups, uh, just tell me your name. I'll look you up. I'll put my name out there, or I'm selling it on Etsy as well. If you do have an Etsy account. I have a lot of these pre-made already. You know, they'll be sent out to you really fast. So don't hesitate. You need this for your Tron cabinet. <laughs> and uh, as for cosmetic cabs, 
cosmetic details here. That's all I got for this cabinet at the moment. Um, really, there's not a whole lot that needs to be done. I mean, this A1 Up did a great job in this cabinet. I did, though, buy the Tulsa Arcade S panel because it has the larger version and it had a. I like that this. The size of this graphic matches more of this size. And, um, and it, you know, this this is just a plexi that's sitting on there. It's very thin. So the side panels are not screwed in. Right here, there's no screw in there. So I, I just want this the cabinet to be more solid. I just realized I gotta move this thing next month or so. So I hope it should be in one solid piece without that connected. But eventually I'm gonna replace it with the Tulsa Arcade panel and get a better graphic. Or maybe I'll do the motion one, I don't know. But in the end, that's that's really all I got for cosmetic mods on this. I'll be uh, putting on the front riser graphic hopefully soon. I did buy replacement parts just in case. I got the GRS flight stick. I do have the push and pull spinner. But yeah, not, nothing much more needs to be done. The only thing I do want to do is uh, these 3D bezels that are coming out for Star Wars. I got a whole other story for that, which I did in the video, I think, for my Star Wars cabinet. But I would like to make the actual bezel that comes out forward, like the original cab, the shroud, as they called it. But that would, you know, maybe we could still keep the side panels here. But there is a way we could get this to come out going up. Or maybe this would get covered. I don't know. Something can be done. It's, it's in my head. I saw one guy who lowered his S panel down right above the screen, which I like that because then you see this more because when you're standing here, you don't really, I'm not, like you don't see it as much. And the way his was, it was angled down a lot more and that S panel screen just sticks right out. So I'm gonna try to do that as well to improve on this cab. But yeah, that's about it for this. Uh, really quick video here. I just came over to my house to pick up some more stuff, little by little. I am not looking forward to moving these cabinets. I haven't been able to enjoy them in the past six to eight months, honestly. I've been doing a little work on them. Got my Mortal Kombat MK. I got Dragon's Lair in the box sitting over here. I've never taken out yet since June. I got MK30 I just purchased back in January that's sitting here. I'm trying to figure out of using the control panel to change this up after I just swapped all the buttons on this and everything. Uh, but for Killer Instinct. Although, I did add a graphic to my Mortal Kombat. You see the dragon hiding here. I'll show that later on. But not to get off to too much topic here. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and that like button. I will put down the links to some of these graphics that I've purchased for this cabinet and the S panel and so forth. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take it easy.